hello guys welcome back to zach animate studios so guys i'm so glad that we are back to our tutorials uh today i've just gone back a little a little while just to explain to a friend he had requested me to t to do a tutorial on how to set up a wordpress uh, a wordpress not a wordpress a laravel theme so the way to go about it is so simple uh, so what you're going to do right away is you're going to set up uh, uh, roles and permissions at the same time um, a theme or a word a, a, a bootstrap theme because uh, uh, I, I was told also to, to name the source of that theme so this theme is from practice practice bo boss bossa dia.in valley admin theme so this is how it looks like uh, we want just to have this ui of our theme uh, in our this uh, laravel laravel project so first and foremost guys let's uh, go back ensure our server is running that is apache and my sql and then secondly go to your studio co studio code so in your studio code uh roles and permissions roles and permissions we are going to use uh let's go back here roles and permissions we are going to use uh, we are going to use uh lara shout okay lara shout so lara shout signal call so this is where you're going to set up roles and permissions okay so we just go hit on get started the the theme that is the their the, the documentation and then go to installation uh, in the installation just uh, take composer require signal color trust and then you're going to add it you're going to add it on your on your times on your on your terminal so this is a tutorial app new tutorial app a new terminal and then you're going just to paste there you require lara trust and then we're going to set up that, that lara trust at the same time uh, i need to close this uh, to have less uh, disturbance uh, so with this then we're going to set up uh, we're going to use laravel breeze laravel breeze is going to handle uh, the login and the logout and the admin dashboard the admin panel okay the, the login the logout so that is what is going to set it to settle so uh, let's go to uh, laravel laravel laravel.com and then we are going just to install lara breeze okay lara breeze so getting started just to, to take you to the source where you get those code this laravel and then you go to starter kit or front end and then you're going to say uh, starter kits uh, lara lara breeze okay i'm so sorry not that okay uh, starter kits uh, lara breeze okay so you need a composer require laravel breeze copy uh, you see and then still you're going to install that uh, i can split my my terminal as it installs uh, uh, laravel uh, it installs lara trust i can also install laravel breeze okay and then it's uh, this is visual studio code my editor and then we are going to activate so uh in a, in either way you can decide you can decide to install everything that you want uh and also i've just realized we have another amazing video uh to add images onto this application so let's say you have a model you have a user model and you want that uh, that user to have images we're going also to do uh, larabella it's called sparty media library so it is going to be amazing stuff you don't have to guys this is uh real-time programming and you get a real-time uh, solutions to your real-time business needs okay so we are just doing real-time things okay uh subscribe to our youtube channel consider subscribing this is zach by the way i'm sorry i went like 10 minutes without introducing myself so after we install we install uh 
Composer, Laravel Breeze, we are going to activate it, okay? So remember, we are you install you install a package and then you activate it. So that's how it is always done. Uh, so uh, giving giving me some few seconds to install those uh, those uh, those packages. Uh, sometimes it uh, it uh, the speed of your computer might also affect that. As if you go back to your to your project and then you reload, you will see that the, you will have some logins and uh, login and registration uh, as they appear on your front end. Uh, but right now, still it has to complete this process, generating auto loads and all that. Yeah. It's all it's done, it's done, that is done, that is good, that is done, that is done, that is done, that is done. Just a second, don't be paid. So, we, I, I can see, still remember the models, the views, the controllers. So with that, okay, Signaco has been installed and then also Laravel Breeze is installed. So either way, I, I want to start with Laravel Breeze because I want to have this, those logins ready. And then after the logins are ready, I'm going to use now the, the, the model for logins to, to assign roles and permissions to the roles and permissions to, to the application. So I'll just type PHP artisan breeze install bled and then it's going to take me through the process. It's going to install the dependencies as you can reload your page. You might see something like login and the registration on your page. If you hit on it, it might give you an error that a white manifest is not present. But if you have to be patient, just be patient. It installs that and then the white manifest. So after installing, it is going to install the dependencies, the JavaScript in, uh, dependencies. There's the JavaScript. Remember, with Laravel, you are doing, you can do both the JavaScript and PHP programming at the same time, and you will never have to 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 move from one or you configure JavaScript alone and all that. So it has been intertwined into the project. So. Uh, I need to take you also we need to install we need also to install uh, I told you we want to use uh, this valley admin thing for our project okay so the way I go about it is this the, okay you can still use this project as it is like this or you can go to there uh, I, I found the link to this valley theme from uh, github uh, i will link the link in the description uh, it was from lara shout if you have ever tried creating applications or you have read uh, your project you have done you have tried studying laravel you will find this uh, code from lara trust okay so that is just where the source of information i got uh, there's a very good documentation also on Lara Trust if you want to start the, how to create uh, uh, e-commerce with Laravel. So uh, let's go back. It's going to give. It's going just to take a second as it installs. Uh, as it installs uh, Laravel Breeze, can we go and uh, set up Lara Trust? Uh, the Lara Trust, the roles and permissions. So just let's do that immediately. Uh, go to installation. So we're just going to type this one: PHP artisan vendor publish. Uh, okay, PHP artisan vendor publish tags. Then you copy that. Then you're going to to paste it on your. So basically, uh, it has completed installing uh, uh, the breeze and then the application has started so that is good now the login and the logouts are working but let's first just hit that so we have started setting up lara trust uh, at the same time we were doing i'm sorry we are doing two things at the same time i just want to explain that uh, the logins now are working and also the registration is also working 
don't worry I'll, I'm, I'm going to register a user but before even I register a user I need to go back and install uh, I need to install the roles and permissions first okay so that is what you are doing uh, go back to uh, Lara Trust and then you're going to take now PHP Artisan Lara, Lara Trust setup copy that and then you're going to install it on your application that is you set up the Lara Trust it is going to ask you migration creation roles permissions user role tables will be created in a migration directory I will say yes at the same time it has been created uh, and then that is what is going to happen and then now I want to set up now the roles and permissions on uh, on as the application starts whether you are installing that application or as it starts it's going to set it up immediately so that you will never have to repeat setting up roles and permissions again so go back go to go to usage and then uh, go to cedars okay go to cedars so you're going to type php artisan lara trust cedar copy that and then paste that and then after that uh, take php artisan vendor uh, publish lara, lara trust drug cedar 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 hey my friend Okay, don't worry, but that is the, the term. So it is going to set up the Lara Trust Cedar. Uh, you can still just open it up. The Lara Trust Cedar, it is on, uh, on on config. So this is where you set up the roles and permissions so on how uh, users are going to have their roles and permissions set. So let's say you're going to have a super admin. Super admin. So I'm just going just to re rename like just like that and then uh, administrator maybe you have now super admin that is you as the the developer or something like that the, the managers of the company and then then admins now these are the second level admins of the system and then now we have either the users uh, users maybe they are these are uh, the, these are teachers maybe you are doing a, a, a project on teachers or uh, uh, uh something like that let's say it's a school and it has various roles this there is the head teacher the senior teacher all that and then after that these are the permissions that you're going to give them uh they create read update delete the crud functions and then each role now will be mapped to that with that uh, uh with that uh, uh, that role that uh, user that has been given let's say he's at the, the, the editor um, let me just be simple an editor is somebody who writes on the website like let's say a blog website and then whether you are uh, a reader a reader is a user or somebody who reads your blog post now is a user so you map them like that uh, maybe your comp your project is going to be complex and then you just leave at that and then you can still manage that module let's say there will be different sections of the page this now where the users come in these are the different sections of the page that somebody is going to use let's say payments payments these are payment pages these are now the different parts of the page that users are going to visit and only the super admins are going to see all the users super admins are going to see all the payments that have been made on the website and then the profile profile you can see profile is for every every module uh, profile 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 pro, profile so you can still make it as you the way you want to do it so we have set it up like that and then at the same time we are going now to add I've just explained how to set up now this is the Lara Trust Cedar uh, this is called Cedar I'm just going to add this on the database uh, this is now it is going to register it is going to register what is going to be done on the after the application has been uh, written it is going now to be published onto the database okay that is the function of the Lara Trust Cedar now we have set it up now we need to see it into action uh, before we complete like that 
you can do now the migration okay when you do the migration it's going to publish all these things into the database so before i do that i will hit on migration migration okay Mm, migration so with that you can still do a lot of things you can create uh, an admin user interface out of lara trust but uh, uh, maybe i don't want to go in that direction i just wanted maybe to use valley as a way of the way i wanted to do my thing so because i find it is very very beautiful to use and it has a lot of uh, it is it's a nice design okay so that is what we're going to do in the next video i didn't the video so it's, it might be a very long video but let's uh split it after 15 15 15 minutes break guys uh, let's do the migration let's do the migration php artisan migrate php artisan migrate okay if you want to delete something on through the database you db wipe you hit that and then you do php artisan migrate it is going to publish everything onto the database so guys let's meet on the let me php artisan migrate and then this is going to be published onto the the, the database sorry control c uh migrate 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 